Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your Basketball Wives, LA, or just Basketball Wives, Season 6, Episode 3. Let's jump on into it, shall we? Um, Do I want to do this? I say Evelyn, I mean, Tammy asked for in the middle, close to the end. So we started, ep nope, going to get Jackie on out the way. So we started the episode off with Jackie. She's still happy in the side of that. She a glam mom. She's still bragging and roasting and doing carrying on about this baby. Like this her first goddamn grandbaby. And like she ain't had no grandbaby yet. She's still carrying on and carrying on and acting crazy like she a grandma for the first time in her story. So she decides she want to throw a um, glam party for her for baby or basically a party for the baby or whatnot or what have you. So you see her calling people, leaving voicemails, harassing people, carrying on. But my question is to you, Jackie, how far will big a piece of shit you want to be? Do you want to be a little piece of shit, or do you want to be a big ass, big ass pile of shit? You doing this, carrying on. You have yet the FaceTime text, DM, direct message. I think that's what it's called on Instagram, direct message. I don't use it. Yeah, direct message, Skype, FaceTime, text message, postcard a package, any of that yet to your first daughter, but yet you still carrying on about this goddamn baby and about this goddamn, you want to throw this goddamn party and whatever and what have you in. Jackie, I guess when it come to you, you gonna go, you gonna be the ain't shit all the way through and through, huh? Evelyn brought up a good part about, we'll get to that part in a second, but yeah, I, Evelyn, how big of a pile of shit you want to be? I mean, Evelyn. Jackie, how big of a pile of shit you want to be? Do you want to be a little pile, big pile? How big of a shit you want to be? I really hope they question your ass and put a damn light in your fucking face to have your ass up the sweat and grilling your ass about this. You doing all this with this, baby, but what about Takari? And then we saw you with Evelyn. And you and Evelyn talked about about this fucking damn message that's so damn important that Tammy wanted to show you. Then we finally get to see the fucking goddamn message or read about the message or heard with the contents of this message that so goddamn dire that Tammy won't um jacket to see to find out. We sitting up here thinking this bag how we did hear something about. Evelyn said you was nothing but a piece of shit mama and she a sad piece of shit or you ain't nothing but a piece of shit mammy or some bullshit she said. We heard what well, I heard about in the blog that she said that somehow what we get is basically Evelyn posted a message on Takari personal Instagram page. It was all nice what nothing negative said in this situation. It was all nice. Nothing negative. Wasn't coming at Jackie sideways. No way whatsoever in this situation. Tammy blurred up. The, they could see like it was such a big fucking deal. But now that we got the contents of this message, it wasn't a big fucking deal. And they cleared the air. They laughed and then played it all. Evelyn again said, Tammy just want drama. And basically that's what it is. I guess Tammy need a motherfucking army. For Ed, I guess she... I, I guess she going for... How many bitches can I get mad at Evelyn? So when I attack her or I'm about to fight Evelyn, I need a motherfucking army up. I don't know what Tammy going for. I don't know what she, like you seen when the first two times you brought up this, you didn't get nowhere with it. However, this time you fucking got the message, and now it turned from a negative. You're a piece of shit, mama. You're a despicable mama. You're a piece of shit, mama. 
you are an asshole or you are a sad excuse to a mama to a positive message. So, Tammy, what are you doing? And then you had the ner nerves and the audacity to get mad at Jackie because you found out that they meant they laughed, they key key. You got mad at, ten at Jackie because you thought Evelyn said something about you and you got mad and like Tammy said, it wasn't nothing bad. She just said you messy, which you are being messy. This is the third damn episode and you still being messy about this text, not text, about this post that supposedly Evelyn said about Jackie and now we got the damn post and it's all positive. You was talking to Reg, and Reg said, well, maybe you need to talk to her better, and you can't talk to her, stay the fucking way away from her. And you still going on, we get to, no, before we get to the party, we see Evelyn and Shawnee meet up, and basically, Shawnee feels on top of way about this glamour party you trying to throw. She feel like you doing all this for this baby, but in the back of my mind, I know this drama and this scandal going on with your other daughter. That That's your firstborn daughter or second, middle, last. I don't know which order her daughters came in. And you got this scandal on the back end of you. And you doing everything, throwing parties, getting gifts, and all this for this one. And this one back here that's bashing you all on social media. She get her hands on in the book. And you ain't stunned this one, but you throwing parties and shit. Basically, Tim and, um, basically, um, Shawnee and... Shawnee and Evelyn said, I ain't going, I can't go and good and good um and good mind and not a good mind. And um and my good head and my good thoughts, I can't go to it. I'm not going to jet um Evelyn said she already cut her damn feet off or cut her toenails up or whatever the fuck she said, however she said that she she said she already do that and then go to the party. So that leads them to all uh, so that means Alana showed up, Kiana showed up, some extras, and some other girls. So we get to the night of the party. She shows up last. She looking for Shawnee and um, Evelyn. They ain't showed up. Here go Tammy again, still being a fucking a dumbass again. Oh, I heard she did this. I heard she did this. She ain't come. She ain't your friend. So why would you sit there and let her bash me then? Why would you sit there and let her bash me? I heard she bashed me and all that. But she said, she didn't bash you. She didn't say nothing bad about you. So why are you mad? Why are you mad about this situation? She said nothing bad about you. It was, we laughed, but it wasn't nothing wrong, so Tammy took it the wrong way, storm off, go outside. Go outside, excuse me. Go outside, smoke her a cigarette or two. The, the, the old chimney got the smoke, I guess, to get her stress release on or whatever the fuck. Smoking her cigarette. So we went from that part of the party till we went to Kiana. I think Kiana and Elena or Elena or... Basically, the the two the two side pieces of Nick Young, Iggy Azalea, fiance. We get the name. I think her name is Elena, Elaine. However, you say her name. So basically, we still know Kiana still prayers about these fucking damn text messages that Elena or Elaine has sent her, and so. She felt on top of way, I guess, because Elaine was there. Elena was there. And she decides to, I guess how I started that. She said, you got a problem with me or what's going on? God, I, she was giving her the stink eye. And I guess Elena felt that and said, you got a problem with me. So 
she's still pressed about these damn text messages, which I don't understand. And then you told her, don't bring up them damn text messages like, every time I come around, you coming up here with these goddamn motherfucking text messages. Why are you coming up with these damn text messages? And I'm sitting there like, text messages, Nick. Bitch, you bring them up this time. This girl was just wondering what the fuck was wrong with her. Why you looking at her? And why you feel some type of way that she showed up to this party that she was invited to clearly. But you still mad at her because she brought it up to you. And you said she wasn't really honest with you. How wasn't she really honest with you when she told you straight off the bat, y'all just met, y'all went to the place. She was best to open and honest to you. She like open the book and let you know. All we did was test. Look, all we did was test that as far as it go, you even added on and said, <laughs> yeah, he be texting waitress and other people. So why are you mad at her about text messages and you still mad at the fact that I guess she text on and she got more attention than you got? I don't know what your damn problem is, but you mad at her guys text messages but you brought them up this time, bitch. So either you mad, pressed, or you just want to fight this girl because I guess she look like Iggy is there. You're some type of, I guess she got Iggy is there. You're somewhere in her because she light skin and can go for Iggy is there. If you squint your eyes hard enough and look at her sideways, she can go for Iggy is there. And you know, I guess since you can't get the Iggy, I guess she the next best thing. Like, what is your fucking deal, girl? You brought up them text messages. That girl ain't bringing no tip. That girl didn't ask, why do you got a problem with me? Why are you staring at me? Why you got a problem? Because I'm here to this part that I was clearly invited to. You mentioned the text message. This girl didn't mention no text message. And then in your confession, next time we meet, bitch, make sure you come to me straight and honest when I know motherfucking drama. You brought up the drama home. So you miss me with that shit while you still mad at her. And you brought up the text message this time. Do you want to fight her? Like, what is your deal here, alpha? You didn't get him, she ain't get him. Now, why you want to fight her? All they did was test. You mad? Are you that pressed and that mad about some damn text message? Do you say you ain't pressed and not mad about these? But clearly you are. Clearly you are something wrong with you. Are you still talking about these fucking text messages that we clearly forgot about and don't give two fucks about that both of y'all didn't get and that Iggy was clearly the winner where she was the winner till they got their divorce and they went separate or almost divorced or whatever. Iggy and Nick Young did. Almost got divorced, separated. What? Clearly, Iggy was the winner here. So why you mad at her? You need to be going beating Iggy ass, not Elena ass, cause Elena ain't do nothing to you. But they send a text message here. He sent a text message. She read it. Ha ha ha! Laugh out loud. You mad at her, but you mad at the wrong person. Anyway, so I guess if you wanna be mad, go ahead and be mad. I guess you entitled to your free your free storyline and uh, I get the punch a bitch of a man that wasn't yours, it was never yours to claim. So I guess you guess you are entitled you to be mad or whatever. Your business not mine. So that cooled down, then that piece cooled down. Um Elena walked out the door. As she walking, Tammy said, Tam, I mean, not Tammy, Jackie walks out, guys, she don't want to hear this drama, because with the Tammy drama happened earlier, she about over in there, so she ain't want to hear this shit about no tip message than cheating, now, so she walked out. As she walked out, she happened to glance over there at Tammy as she walking away. And went like this. Bitch, don't be rolling your motherfucking eyes at me. I'll knock him in the back of your fucking head. Like, here you go again, Tammy. Like, do you want to box Tammy? I mean, Jackie and Evelyn. Seems like you clearly you want to box Tammy and Ed, I mean, I mean, Jackie and Evelyn. Clearly you want to box both of them. Or you need a reason to be mad in the bullet people this season. So... I guess Jackie and Evelyn will do for you this season. You get a two-for-one combo. Plus, you get a two-for-one combo. I guess that means bonus. And ten, I guess trying to put a bug in your ears. If you beat one of their asses or swing or one of my poor damn hair, 
that means you will get an extra 10% bonus or 50% bonus or 20% bonus or whatever. So I guess that's what you're going in. You either want to fight um, Evelyn or Jackie. Because clearly you keep it on drama unnecessary as drama. Um, so yeah, then we get to the book signing. There was the book signing. Basically, it's called Mistress One on One, a side piece woman went paying the pension, didn't really care. We get to the party, we see Jennifer, that it was confirmed that Jennifer was coming back. So I guess that was our sign that Jennifer on this season, or that was her appearance, or I guess that was her appearance until Evelyn or whoever stopped her becoming on the show. So we got to see her. Tammy did her little book signing. She did her Q&A question. She was looking for something to drink. She was enjoying herself. Of course, her daughter there, Jazz, and the other daughter there. Jackie wasn't invited, but Jackie let it be known that she was coming. So Jackie came up there, and it's amazing how Jackie coming in, bust your whole damn party up just by walking in there. On the prize, you didn't get crazy. You said she, you want her attention. Now you got my attention, and you got all my attention. I don't know how your daughter's mind is to calm you down, but that one jazz couldn't calm you down after season five when it came to Duffy. But it seemed like both of them calmed you down, I guess, and put the right seeds in your head to calm you down. And how does one leave their own damn book sign and cost of a bitch walk in that you at wasn't inviting? What security does at that party? You dealt with your fans for your book signing. So clearly you must have had security there. But I guess you didn't want to waste your time in calling security and having her escorted out because she was clearly not invited to this party. You let one bitch fuck up your damn um, book signing, and you left your own goddamn book signing. I guess, Jackie. I mean, I guess, Tammy. I guess that you left your own damn... How does... I don't understand it. I clearly don't. You want to explain that one to me, Tammy. This big bitch ain't scared of nobody willing to fight somebody pushing filthy and you are fighting anybody or bullying anybody. But Jackie fucked up your whole goddamn event so much that you, your daughter had to calm you down because I guess you wasn't on 100 or 10 yet. So they were able to calm you down and after calming you down, you left your own damn book signing. Anyway, though, y'all, that was the episode. Y'all let me know what y'all think of this messy ass episode with Tammy going off on the rampage, then walking out of her own damn event. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Um, I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. And bye.